Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Today we're going to drink that dates back to the naval days of the British Empire, called the Gimlet. Back in those days, they needed to have limes or other sorts of fruits on board in order to prevent scurvy. A particular company decided they were going to help things out and created Rose's lime juice that they could have on board so you wouldn't have to have fresh limes that were constantly getting bad and stuff like that. It took no time whatsoever for people to actually make a drink using this, and that's how the gimlet most likely came around. Let's make it. We're going to start off with two ounces of Hendrix gin. and then three quarter an ounces of Rose's lime juice. The amount of roses you use is gonna differ from recipe to recipe. I like to take and back it off a little bit. Sometimes you might even see equal, equal parts of gin and Rose's lime juice. This is also probably the only time you'll see me using Rose's lime juice in a drink. Uh, the gimlet has a particular flavor to it because of the Rose's lime juice that people almost expect to have. You, you could make a gimlet using lime juice and sugar, which to a certain extent is all that Rose's lime juice is, but the flavor is going to be different. Uh, so I'd recommend playing around with it a bit, finding out what sort of flavor you like, but the Rose's lime juice gimlet kind of has a flavor profile that people are gonna expect, and so start off with that and see where you go. But whatever you do, never use Rose's lime juice simply as lime juice, which sometimes I see bars doing. Let's add our ice. Then uh, strain it into our glass. For this one, I'm choosing a rather slightly rustic, ordinary looking glass because the gimlet is not a fancy cocktail. So I wouldn't take and use a fancy glass for it. And there we have a navy drink called the gimlet.